Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Peyton, and today I'm going to show you guys how to wrap your baby in the Sally Baby Wrap. We have been wearing babies since Malachi. We have had several different baby carriers and different methods of baby wearing, but one of my favorites is the wrap, especially for newborns um, and especially during the winter time. They're so cozy, close to your chest and it helps give them really good head support for when they're not able to um, have good neck control just yet. So Judah right here is four months old, so he's a little bit bigger. Uh, my guess would be he's about 17 pounds. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys how to wrap him up in the wrap. So you can do, there are several different ways of wrapping a baby. There's the newborn way, but I'm just gonna show you the traditional hug hold today. So the, there are different types of wraps, different brands, and you're gonna kind of have to just get used to the one that you do have. So a couple of brands are a little bit more tighter in the material, and the Solly itself is very stretchy and forgiving. So um, my suggestion is just, the first time you try it, it's a little bit confusing. Just watch this video several times until you feel comfortable with it. Practice on a teddy bear if you need to, and definitely have some help, some helping hands there while you're trying it for the first time doing it, because I promise you, you're gonna end up loving it. Our babies love baby wearing. It's basically the only way for me to get stuff done around the house, especially for babies who are newborns all the way to three months old. They just wanna be held all day, so rather than fighting it, just baby wear. That way you can still get things done around the house that you need to do, take care of little ones. We have two other ones at home. So my hands, I need hands free. So baby wearing is the best way to be able to snuggle close to your baby, have them feel loved and connected to you while also tending to other kids and things done to get things done around the house. So let's go ahead and do it. He's a little fussy today, so I'm hoping He'll be able to, we'll be able to get through this video today without any screaming and crying. Hey bud. Yeah. <laughs> so wraps are essentially just a very long stretch of fabric. It's like really, really long. And it can be intimidating, especially for your first baby or first time ever baby wearing. But I promise you, just stick it out, I promise. It's, it, this will be your saving grace. Whether it's your first baby or your fifth, this is going to be your saving grace with having a newborn or a baby, anyway, any baby in the house, okay? So generally with all the brands, there's going to be a marker, like a little tag right here, that indicates the center of your big long fabric, okay? So that you wanna keep right here, okay? On the center, so you're gonna take it like this, you're gonna put it on your underneath your boobies, your on your stomach, okay? And you're gonna wrap it around like this. So there are different ways of doing this. So you can either bunch it up like this, okay? You still want that little tag right there in the front, and you're gonna wrap it around your back, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to get this big old string out of the way. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna wrap it around like this. So you really wanna make sure that you're keeping organized with your fabric. You don't want it all bunched up and, and, and turned around and twisted. It's gonna be really hard to untwist that and then get baby in there comfortably, okay? So I'm gonna show you right here. I'm gonna take this fabric up here. So you can see it's not twisted. I'm gonna bring it over this shoulder. So see how it's nice and stretched out, just like that, okay? I'm gonna do the same thing with this side here. I'm gonna make sure it's not twisted. I'm just gonna turn it like this. This is where you can just kind of organize your back a little bit so you're not having any twisting. Now what that's going to do by keeping it all nice and organized back here is to evenly disperse the weight of the baby because there are certain carriers, I mean, when you, even when you get a bigger baby, it's just gonna be harder to carry them. You don't want all that weight kind of like all over the place. So you have it like this, kind of looks like a nice little shawl. Pretty cute, right? Nice and organized in the back. I hear you, I hear you. Okay, so now it looks like this. So with the Solly, this brand, I told you, is very, very stretchy. See how stretchy that is? So I like to get my wrap really tight, okay? He is ready to be in the wrap. He says, I see it, I'm ready to go. Okay, so you're like this. It's around your abdomen. Okay, nice and tight. What you're gonna do is take these pieces here and you're gonna shove them down in that, that belly belt, okay? I'm gonna wrap it all up like this. There, you guys will notice there'll be so many different ways of doing this. You just have to kind of find the best way that works for you. And the more you do it, the faster you'll get, okay? 
So now I have my panels right here. They're all organized like that, okay? Still have my belly band. And you want the tag up top because sometimes it'll get twisted and flip underneath. So okay, just like that. And the next part is you're going to cross one side over. I like to cross my right side over. Whichever side is on top is where your baby's head is going to fall. So tip with you, if you have a newborn or even any baby, you don't want their head turned to, the, to one side constantly because it's, developmentally it's not good for their neck. A baby is going to be preferring that one side. So same with nursing, you're gonna alternate sides, same with head turning, okay? It also helps with the development of baby's head. Head shape, okay? So I'm going to turn cross this over just like an X. Now wherever your X falls is where baby's butt is going to fall, okay? Choking yourself on that. So he's a little bit bigger now. When he was a newborn, I had him like up here because he was just so little, but now he's a big boy. So I'm crossing over. Now that you have your X, all you're gonna do, I'm gonna kind of go a little bit lower, is gonna go around my back like this, okay? Like that, and then I'm gonna come right back to the front because you're gonna have long tails and these can get annoying. So as you're gonna deal with those tails right now, and I'm gonna tie it in a knot. I probably could go back one more time into the back. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go one more time and then tie that knot on the way. Now I've noticed that the Solly wrap, since it's so stretchy, I always have longer tails in this wrap than other brands like the Moby or the Boba. I've had several brands. Um, this one, I prefer this brand we live in florida and we basically have like two months out of the year where it's not super duper hot so um if i'm gonna be baby wearing in the baby wrap with all of these layers i want to make sure that he uh, my babies are nice and cool and i always dress him in just basically a onesie or even sometimes just in his diaper just to keep him cool throughout the summer months and the hotter months but i really love wearing this one in the winter because then he's all cozy and i just feel cozy myself so let's show you how to get the baby in there Okay, so my first tip for you is don't put a baby in the baby carrier. Attempt to if baby is fussy. So he is, I told you, is a little fussy today. He's not feeling well. So I'm just gonna calm him down a little bit. I'm gonna give him his passy because he's tired and ready for the wrap to go night night. Okay, okay, okay. So calm your baby, take a few minutes because the last thing you wanna do is be stressed out trying to figure out a new carrier for the first time or even if it's your second or third time when you have a fussy baby, it's really hard. Okay, so again, he's a little bit bigger with a newborn. You're gonna do things differently. So this is about four to six months old. You're gonna you're gonna wrap him like this. Okay, so you remember your X's that you did right here? That's where baby's butt's gonna sit. Okay, so I'm going to do. You can do this several ways. It's just how I do. Oh, you're dribbling on me. I'm gonna put him over my right shoulder. Okay, I'm gonna take my hand underneath right here. I'm gonna grab this leg and kind of pull it over his bum. So you see like that? Okay, so I'm gonna just kind of shimmy him down a little bit and tuck him in. Now, you're gonna wanna take this side of the fabric here and you're gonna go from back of knee to back of knee. So you're gonna watch, I'm gonna pull this all the way over. Okay, so you can see how stretchy that fabric is. You're like, where's that baby gonna go? And so you start putting that baby in the, the, the carrier and then you see. Okay, so from leg, to leg, okay? Now I'm gonna take this side right here, this hand. I'm gonna do the same thing, kind of lift up a little bit because you don't want to hurt baby's leg. Okay? And then you're gonna go all the way over just like we did with the other side. Back of knee to back of knee. So look at that, guys. I'm gonna tuck his arm in there just to show you. You have two layers of support right there. He is not going anywhere, but since he's a chunk of muck and even with newborns, you're gonna to wanna to take that belly band. Remember that belly band? Take his legs in. And pull that tab over, over, over. And you're gonna bounce, bounce, bounce to get baby to fall down a little bit. Okay, so if you have a newborn baby, you can wear them with their feet in. But Judah is a little bit bigger and I like his legs out. I like his legs out because it's cooler. He can cool off a little bit better and he likes just to have that little bit of freedom, okay? So, oops, we got a little spittle. Hold on. Okay, so a couple things you can do. If you have a bigger baby, so you can see he loves sucking on the sides of it. So, I'm gonna give him his passy now. There you go, okay. 
can see he's got the sleepy eyes already. He's ready to go. Okay, so a couple things you can do if you have a bigger baby like Judah or an older baby, you can pull their arms out like this so they get a little bit more freedom. See, he likes that. You still wanna do good head support for those babies that aren't quite sitting yet and don't have really good head control. And um, other thing you can do is your straps. You can pull them up like that, like a tank top. Or you can pull them all the way down like that. And what that's going to do is give you more dispersion, or I guess like distribution of the weight. So you're not having all that pressure on just like a little part of your arms or your back. Okay, so when baby is ready to fall asleep, instead of holding their head like this, you have this little pocket here that you can tuck their head into, okay? He's not quite ready to go sleep yet, but you can hold him like this and calm him down. He likes to talk before he falls asleep. <laughs> you can see he likes to suck on this right here. So a little trick for you guys, a little teething toy. I've made these little wooden, crochet wooden toys for him to be able to chew on. You can attach it to the baby carrier, to the wrap itself show you this helps him from not slobbering all over the baby carrier and then what i'll usually do too is add a drop of copaiba essential oil to the wooden teether because he's starting to get some teeth in so this is a really good way of doing like natural teething for them as well they can chew on it and hold it i'll usually do that with his his feet are or his arms are out and he can hold on to it a little bit but that's another way of getting getting baby entertained while they're in the carrier and you're on the go as well. The other thing I'll do is I'll apply essential oils. I'll show you guys how I do that. So I like Gentle Baby and Seedlings Calm with my carriers because they're not colored oils. Peace and Calming is my all-time kids or baby oil and kids oil too. We have toddler temper tantrums here. But Peace and Calming is my favorite, but it's green. And I don't want to wipe that on my carrier because I don't want it to stain my carrier. So what I'll usually do is put Peace and Calming in his hair. But these two oils here are not colored. Seedlings Calm smells like basically like a yummy, delicious little baby. And then Gentle Baby as well is a nice baby scent too. Um, so what I'll do is I'll show you guys how I apply it to the carrier. He's a fussing mess right now. Are you a fussing mess? Okay, so I take a drop. Go like this it's in my hand i'm gonna take it rub it in and i'm just gonna go like right here so baby can smell it and he's usually out in a couple of minutes this way put the rest in his hair another thing you can do is put it on your chest right here so baby's smelling it so you can see he's already getting ready to go to sleep after putting those oils on okay so some tips with you guys basically when you're baby wearing there's a couple things that you want to be aware of one, you want to be able to have baby close enough to you that you can kiss his forehead or the top of his head. Just like that, okay? So even when baby is tucked in like this, you don't want baby so far down that you can't reach them with your, with your lips, okay? The other thing that is really important is you always want to be aware of where baby's airway is. So mouth and nose. You don't want baby so smashed against you facing you that baby can't breathe and you don't want too much fabric around his face or her face. So the other thing you really wanna pay attention to with baby wearing is their hip position. You want healthy hips. So think of an M. So we're gonna go up to the knees, back down to the butt, back up to the knee, and then back down. So you want a nice M position that's really good for the hips. You can also pull baby around like that if you want to have their legs up like this. But the main thing is you want their knees above the hip. Well, the other thing you need to be wearing is baby's head. So in the baby wraps, my, my babies have always never, or have never really liked their head being tucked in unless they're asleep. So I usually will get them asleep and then tuck their head in, but they always like to throw their head back because they want to look up like this at you. So um, being really aware of their head and supporting their head is really important as well. Um, now if I'm doing heavy duty things like going out and doing animal chores or if I'm in the garden, I prefer to use one of those strap carriers like the back carriers like Tula. That's my most used carrier. But for certain things like doing cleaning around the house and light work, I do like to use my wrap. And definitely for that newborn period where they're all like just so melt into you, it's a perfect carrier for when you have newborns. Now, when I do choose to use the wrap, um, I don't take it off. I basically use it as my t-shirt for the day because it feels like a t-shirt, it's super lightweight. What I'll usually do is I'll wear a tank top underneath it and I'll put the, the, the wrap on and I don't take it off until the end of the day or until I'm done baby wearing, which is basically until bedtime. Um, so with that, baby does come in and out for diaper changes, for nursing, if I want to nurse him out of the wrap. So what I'll usually do is just take him off or take him out and still leave the wrap on and just go about my day. It is so lightweight, it really does feel like a t-shirt. So I don't take this off and do this multiple times throughout the day. That would just be just too much work. So my motto is work smarter, not harder. Um, 
So if I'm gonna wear the wrap out, I'll put the wrap on before I get in the car, take baby, and then put baby wherever we're going, like a play date or um, shopping or whatever, I'll put baby in once we get there. So taking baby out, believe it or not, is really easy. The main thing you wanna do is make sure baby has good head support if baby's not able to keep their head up and support the baby's body at all times when taking the, fat, the layers off, okay? I'm gonna take his little passive clip off because I don't want that to pull that right out of his mouth. Okay. So you're gonna take the belly band, remember that belly band? You're gonna take that off. You're gonna lift his butt up. Oh, oh lost it. You're gonna lift it up just a little bit so you don't hug the baby's leg. Pull that leg under. Do the same on this side. And just smile. Are you cuteness? <laughs> and then you're gonna take that top one, holding baby the whole time. Pull that leg out. And then do the same on this side. Or you could just simply go like this and pull baby out. Whichever you prefer. Oh, you didn't like coming out. Okay, so now I wanna show you guys how to nurse in this carry or the in the wrap. So I am always nursing on the go. Again, I have two little kids and I have money free pan, so I'm always nursing on the go. Whether it's in church, um, walking out of the park, you know, sometimes you just don't get to stop and nurse and that's okay. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that in here. Okay, so I've got my X right here, my little cross, and I've got my belly band here too. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that, that, that side that's underneath and you're gonna actually fold it in half. So I'm taking this side here and I'm bringing it under to create a little pocket for baby's bum. You can see right here, it's got a little pocket and it's in half. Okay. The baby's gonna lay this way. Get that over here. Again, he's a little bit big for this, so I'm gonna see if I can still get him in this fold. But for newborns, it's perfect. Come over. I'm gonna stick his butt in there like that into the little pocket. And I'm gonna take this arm here that's underneath, and I'm gonna pull it actually under to make it a little bit more comfortable for baby to fall down into. See his arm like that? Okay. Okay, okay. I'm gonna tuck his head in. Okay, so there you go right there. There's one layer of support. And now, I'm gonna pull that other side. See, here's his other X right here. I'm gonna pull it all the way over this way. See so how that? So there you go, there's two layers of support. He is not going anywhere, and he has easier access to nurse on this side, okay? But I like to take this other, the belly band, if I can find it. So here's my tag. And I'm gonna pull that over just to have an extra layer of support for baby, because he is bigger. So again, look how much support you have right there. Legs are out, nice and safe. And then baby can nurse and you can cover and that's way easier. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, please subscribe for more motherhood, natural living, and homesteading and self-sufficiency here in the city. Thank you guys.